Hi, welcome to a new series on data visualization and topic for today's video is introduction to data visualization. So before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification icon to never miss out on our videos. Now let's see why is visualization important. So visualization is very important because it is the first step to any analysis work. May it be machine learning analysis, may it be statistical analysis. We have to visualize our data to have more intuitive understanding of data. We have to know what we have as a data. And visualization is also important because it helps us to see certain patterns which are usually harder to see. We use many plots, many charts to view our data and we gain many intuitive ideas from our data. Now let's see which language we use. So I have used Python. So why Python? It is a very good as general purpose language because it contains various libraries for data visualization like Matplotlib, Seaborn and we can use Pandas as well. And I will be using Pandas as data visualization in my next video. Many companies use Python for data visualization and analysis. And also Python is very popular among the various languages present in the market. Now let's see why Matplotlib. It is one of the most popular in data visualization. Other libraries are best on it like Seaborn. Well, Seaborn is the extension of the Matplotlib. Matplotlib is way easier to get started with. Now let's see which of the plots and charts we can plot using Matplotlib, Seaborn and as well as with Pandas. So we have line charts, bar charts, histograms, scatter plots, pie charts, subplots, dist plots, joint plots. We have heat map. Then we can also plot violin plots. All these I will talk about in each of the videos. So please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn these all, then I will surely make a video on all this. But these are only a name to name a few. But later on, I will be talking about more and more plots. So there are, I guess, 20 to 25 plots. So we'll talk about them in our later videos but for now let's see how we can import matplotlib and plot a simple graph in our jupyter notebook so let's move on to our jupyter notebook now we have our jupyter notebook open let's import matplotlib so we can import it as import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so matplotlib is our library and pyplot is the sub part of it and we have imported it as plt so this will be useful for us to plot uh, line graphs or line charts then we have bar graphs then we can plot histograms then we can plot heat maps using plt or matplotlib library so let's see how we can plot our line graph then for that let's define uh, x variable as a list then let's pass in the values as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then pass in the value as y is equal to the cubes of x so 1 8 27 the cube of 4 is 64 then 125 216 now if you want to plot then we have to use the function called as plt dot plot then we will have a line chart x comma y and then we have to use the function plt dot show to show our graph plotted and you can see we have our line chart but as you can see we don't have any x label we don't have any y label we don't know what this plot is all about and what is this function we don't know anything so if you want to add more functions to it let's do it in our next further videos this is all from my side and if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section below and we'll get back to your doubts